Yo guys, Jaylaser Blitz here, back with another video, and today I'll be showing you guys how to get the most XP in Arcane Legends. I know most of you guys might be thinking to yourself, what the hell game is this? Uh, this isn't Call of Duty Pony Noobs or Call of Duty Camping Spots, and this is a mobile game. It's basically like World of Warcraft, and basically I'll be showing you guys real quickly how to get the most XP. If you guys are new to the channel, please check out my other videos, and here we go. So basically how you get the most XP is first you want to do these, you want to do daily missions. So first daily mission here is Nordor at the first place in Nordor and basically you just light the path you gotta go to these torches I'll show a little bit what these torches look like you just go you go to these torches and uh, light them and there's five of them in the path it's pretty self-explanatory first place in Nordor 600 XP if you wanna save your quest make sure you save your quest at the end of this I'll show you why you gotta save your quest it's a really important you save all your quests and turn them in all at the same time because you can get XP boost that lasts a certain amount of minutes and when you turn your quests in you can get that XP. So the next place you want to go is City of Kells, and you want to accept this quest from Gerald. The armor fragments, the daily quest, and then you go to the first place in Nordor, and there's going to be two quests here. The quests are uh, Light the Path and Armor Fragments. So basically, there's uh, these torches, and you, or not these torches, but these lanterns that are on the ground, and you got to light them up. And there's also the warriors and the sorcerers. You kill the sorcerers, the shadow mancers. And you kill the warriors or the armor guys, and that's armor fragments. Sometimes it's not armor fragments every time. So basically, it might take a, it might take a few runs, but usually it takes one run. And then after you guys light the path, the next place you're gonna go is Forest of Shades. I think it's called. It's the third place in Shu Yao. And you want to accept the quest for the wolf's one, and this is where you're gonna get the rest of your lanterns because you got you should get four lanterns in the first zone, and in this place I think there's like something like eight lanterns just in this zone alone you go up to this top there's two lanterns right at the start so i'll show you guys the two lanterns and then you accept that quest at the start and that gives you the wolf quest to kill these wolves and collect their fangs so that's another good quest to save up and basically you still want to save up all these quests and i'll show you guys at the end how much xp we get from all the quests with the xp boost next place you want to go is expedition camp for tinderin then you accept these two quests from these two guys they standing here at the gateway after you accept these two quests, I like to go to the last place in Tinderin so I can accept these quests that I have. They're, they're the quests that are here because they you can do these quests in the first place, but you have to go to the last place to get, accept the quests first. So I go to the last place first, a little bit of a detour kind of what I'm explaining. Then I go back to the first place. I'm just showing this guy. I already have the quest. Sometimes that quest that that guy gives takes two days for me because some I like to be able to do these quests within 30 minutes because the 30 minute timer is uh, really important when it comes to your XP boost. And say you, if you use your XP boost to turn in all your quests, then you want to log out because then when you log out, your timer for your XP boost doesn't go away. It stays there until you log back in. So then you can log in the next day and finish all your quests within 30 minutes so you can turn in two sets of quests with one set of potions so it's a really good tactic that I like to use and after you do the first place and kill all the Indians and in Tinderin then you want to go to the third place and you basically have to run this place three times or more basically because you have to get the lava, the lava rocks you see that was the first lava rock you should get six lava rocks if you drew it correctly if you don't get six then you're passing some somewhere so check around you should be able to find them all so there's one hidden behind this egg I'll show you this is probably the most hidden one it's hidden behind the egg right when you go to the left Mm, but that's basically the most hidden one and after you go to Tinderin, you're gonna want to go to this Gar Garata village or whatever it's called Gar Veda village and you're basically gonna want to go to the three quests here There's a guy standing next to a big cage and then there's another girl standing next to him. They have a quest uh, Basically his quest is a limited time a quest. So you only do it a certain amount of day a certain amount of time of day It's like Northall the boss and he you can tell when he spawns on the map because you'll see a, a warrior on the logo for the place where you play so I'll show you guys what that looks like real quick go ahead and accept these quests and then you see that how the warrior is on that logo right there that means that the boss is actually spawned in and you can actually do it and there's a bar showing you when he's gonna spawn in but he's not spawned in permanently and right here you guys want to go down instead of up to get to north hole it is a little bit of a hard because there's all a bunch of different ways to go I wouldn't recommend going up at all it's just kind of a waste of time like I said I like to try to do this within 30 minutes because if you don't do it within 30 minutes you're kind of screwing yourself because uh, you want to get two uses out of your one use XP potions. So Northo spawns in. He's pretty easy to kill. You probably have to be like in your level 60s or so maybe to kill him. Maybe high 50s. It's not that hard of a boss. Uh, after doing this strategy, you guys should be able to inch away at your levels. Uh, it is daily quest only. So 
It was a little bit of a bummer, but he's got to play like every day, 30 minutes, and you should be pretty good in your XP grind. Here, you got to go to the the next place is the mines after you kill Northal, and you basically got to run this place two times, and you have to collect four of these gems. You see these glowing green gems. Uh, you have to take a little bit of a detour here where you go left first and then wrap back around straight. Uh, that's basically the best route I know and you end up with four gems at the end and you end up with one more boss because the other quest you have is kill three bosses in this area because this is the same area as Northal. So basically after you do that uh, you have all all the quests and there's, uh, there's a bunch of quests that you can do that I don't personally run like uh, Paradise Pier and stuff like that because like I said I try to fit my quest within 30 minutes and I try to have the most fast and most efficient like XP profit so I I look over a lot of quests so if you guys don't want to look over as many quests you guys can look through these quests yourself but I'll show you guys the last kind of quest I run is in the chasm and basically you get 20 gems for uh, killing like every now and then you kill a guy in the area and it gives you a gem so you gotta get 20 stones or whatever so basically I do that quest real quick and then after these quests I'll show you guys at the end how much XP I get from turning all these quests with my XP boost and what exactly I use for XP boosts so here I'll show you guys just doing the last set of quests. I was actually lagging a little bit here. Kind of sucked. Uh, I do have a little bit of internet issues, but you know, you fight through it. Fight through what you got to fight through. So this is like the last set of quests I usually run for my daily quest. I am uh, level 75, which is like almost the highest level I'm getting there. 76 is the highest level. It does take a lot of XP to level up after this point, but once you got all your quests, basically what you want to do is there's a uh, advertisement thing at the bottom of your screen next to your health potion I'll show you guys that right, right there is like there's a picture of three potions next to your health potion basically you want to click that and you want to click a uh, free advertisement on 50% XP elixir because that will give you a 50% XP for 30 minutes so after you watch the advertisement there's a there's like three pets in the game that give you increased uh, XP tad thief is one of them. He gives you 20% XP boost another thing I'm gonna activate here is a 60% XP elixir potion. So right now we have a lot of XP We got like 130 XP 130% XP and uh, there is some days of the month where they do do double XP For the whole thing so you could get even double that so here after we turn in all of our things you see we start with about 17,100 something XP 17,191 XP and then after we turn all of that in turn all the quests in we end up with something like 50,000 53,000 so that's like a 35k gain in one day it's a pretty easy way to level up I know it's hard to chip away that much every day but hope you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully you guys can level up your arcane legends players peace